Hello guys, my name is Ray and this is a quick video guide on how to tame the new mechanical pets added in patch 7.1. So without further ado, let's get Gabin. The first pet is a green variation of the Mechana Wolf pet, similar to Frenda, Treble and Rush. The second pets are three new types of mechanical pet, the Arachnodrone. They come in three colours, copper, golden and silver. I personally went for the silver as I liked it the best, but all three pets follow essentially the same method, so you can tame whichever you like best. Now before you go, very important, don't forget that you need to be able to tame mechanical pets. If you're a gnome or a goblin you're good, otherwise you'll have to create the Mechabond imprint matrix via engineering, or buy it from another engineer from the auction house. So where do we begin? Well, if you saw Arix's video on the changes made to Alcaz Island in 7.1, you'll know that these new pets are found over on Alcaz Island which can be found in Dustwallow Marsh. Fly over to the island and you'll be dismounted by some bastard with an anti-aircraft gun. Luckily if you're not a poor bastard like Arix, you can just whip out your water walking mount and hoof it over to the island proper. Now if you reach the island and don't see any mobs, that will mean you are phased and will have to travel back in time to actually be able to tame the mobs. Don't worry, this isn't a bug, just fly on over to this member of the bronze dragonflight on the bridge leading into Theramor. She'll send you back in time so that you can see all the mobs on the island. She also sells the Theramor tabard for some reason, which can be used to plant a Theramor flag. Um, hashtag never forget. Once you've travelled through time, fly back on over to the Alcaz island and uh, get dismounted again. Now you should be able to see all the mobs on the island. Start busting out some robot skulls and head up the pathway. Watch out along here for mines and turrets. When the road forks, take a right and head to the little compound made up of three shacks. There's pretty much nothing but annoying death gnomes in the left and right shacks, so head for the middle shack. On the lower floor, past more uh, death gnomes, is the first new mechanical pet, Garda. He's a green variant of the Mechanowolf family. I decided not to tame him because everyone knows that Treble is the best. Oh, who's a good boy, yes you are. He's a pretty standard tame that as far as I can tell is quite similar to Frender in Gnomerigan. He'll hit you like a bloody sledgehammer so pop turtle mode and start taming. If you can stop everyone nearby from killing him, anyway. Once Garda is dealt with, head up the stairs and this is where Dr. Weevil spawns. There were lots of people camping him for the toy on my server so you shouldn't have any difficulty in defeating him. If for any reason you're alone and no one wants to come help you or you have no friends, try to interrupt his abilities and watch out for the debuff which insta-kills you at 10 stacks. Eventually, Dr. Weevil will drop an item called an Electrified Key, which is required to be able to tame the mechanical spiders. Once you have this, just head on over to the Arachna drone you wish to tame and use the key on it. Then all that's left is to get it down to 30% health and then tame. The enemies on Alcaz Island drop a few mechanical themed items which may be of interest. There is the handful of gizmos, a crafting reagent which may in the future be used for crafting mechanical pet food. They also drop drudge fluid which turns your pets all gold and yellow. And lastly they drop machine fluid which makes your pets all icky with oil. A nice throwback to the warg in Wrath of the Lich King which lost its oily coat when it was tamed, much to the lament of hunters like myself who are obsessed with unique looking pets. I hope you found this guide useful. If you need the exact locations for the other two Arachna drones, just click the link to be taken to Arix's video and subscribe to Get Gabin for more videos like this in the future. Thanks for watching, and remember, any friend of Grey Mane is a friend of mine. <laughs>